so well, welcome to I almost spoke Swedish there Alexander Technique 31 of the series and here we have Kalle Lundahl who's sacrificing his time for the development of the Alexander Technique as our tryout series is about enjoy laugh <laughs> I was mentioning earlier here when we just did constructive rest that joy is the same as when you ease out of tension and you sort of get back to balance. And McGowan, who wrote a couple of books about spirituality and the Alexander Technique, points to the spiritual side. So only by releasing out of tension can we so to speak reach higher hemispheres higher it is not that the body is a cartesian vessel for the spirit and the spirit <laughs> the spirit is somewhere else <laughs> There is no possibility, as we know from neurology, that you can be spiritual in a tense body. It's absolutely impossible. So letting go of the tensions and getting into balance is also spiritual development. And humor is a very important part of this. Getting into the fun business, and I'd say also be able to project happy thoughts. Uh, I, I would recommend also that you steer away from using bad words, cussing like that. They give a bad feeling, something that Bergen wrote about. Uh, avoid from uh, expressions like, oh, yuck, a horrible, ooh, weird, harsh. All those words that do have an effect uh, on our stature uh, are very delicate balance. So we could see directions as giving more into the positive thing. The, the wholeness or I don't know, healthy, healthy maybe. If I do something in a I say to myself, oh, oh no, it's too tough, I, I don't like this one. It becomes a habit that drains you of energy and uh, it makes you stiff in the end. You stiffen up and what would pay is your back, is your joints in the end that had to pay the price. So ease up in all directions. And even though we are down here in the cellar, try to enjoy. Because every time you train this, you will find enjoyment easier. It comes easier on you. So Kalle, maybe you can do the monkey here. You can do it yourself. Standing shoulder width. And be careful to stop before and get that happy direction. Mighty good. So you point with your hand and you find your hip joint as you did. Very good, Callum. And then you sort of angled on the whole thing. And you widen at the same time. How did that feel compared to the habitual way of doing it? Um, it's good. It looked easier than than usual. Mm. It's not so much slumping anymore. Let's see. You have a very strong back, and you find in your way back to that. 
Oh, I like that. Back to the back. It's a good one, isn't it? So when I put my hand here, lengthen in that direction. And as a test, you can keep your head just like this. Yeah. Oh, it's very balanced. You feel how easy it is for me to move your head? Mm. I don't have to pressure you or... It's also because I maybe I took some classes myself. Up and nod. Very good. And I think if your hands should be a bit more like this. See the palm on your hand. Yeah, much better. Hmm. If you bend your knees a bit, maybe, like that. And then bend your up a bit. Very good, very good. You feel the hip joint? Yes. So you learn the hip joint. Isn't that fantastic? So I can take you up, I can take you down, and you do not collapse anymore. Because what you did before, maybe a long time ago, was that you collapsed like this into mm -hmm. yourself. Now you are still going up, around, like this. It's mm -hmm. freer. You don't feel a strain and you can still come down. Mm -hmm. And when you do the exercise, doesn't it feel easier now? Mm -hmm. Did you do this this morning for us? Yes, yes, absolutely. So you can feel it that it's not as strained anymore. Mm. That means that when you do it, you will give more benefit to your body as well, mm. your soul. It's much better. <laughs> it really makes me happy to see. And I, mind you, I'm just a layman, not certified for anything. It's very important to, to say to the audience, I don't get arrested for <laughs> pretending to be an exotic teacher. In Canada, you're quite aware I'm not a teacher as well. Yes. Ooh, very, very good. So there is no, there's very much less tension in the elbows as well. Do you feel strain in this position, Carlo, or is it? Oh, uh, it's fine. Hmm. Lengthen. And try to think that there is more, uh, how can I say, space in between your shoulders. Mm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So I encourage you to, to get the more of the shoulders into your arms. And you can do that by thinking there is space here. Mm. And you do that at, at the same time as you lengthen, so to speak. Mm. You lengthen over here you also widen. Mm. This actually makes a cross over mm. your back. I think John Appleton had an idea there mm. that the cross was the opening directions of the body. Mm. That makes the cross both a symbol for freedom and also an actual freedom. Mm. This is much easier than it was just a moment ago. And I can imagine you can feel the difference now. Mm. So, think of a smile here. <laughs> or some jokes maybe from Forty Towers or Monty Python. This is a dead parrot. <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. So, seriousness brings tension, is tension. It's maybe the same as, as you can get up without tension. Continue slowly like that. That's very nice. Mm. 
That's a nice posture. Keep that very nice balance. You have a very good balance here now. When it comes to head neck balance, this is the best I've seen so far. And I can see it from where I'm standing now that you have a very nice balance. So your head is easily pivoting on the top cervical. Mm. Very nice. So let that lead you into action. The head, the directionality coming here, mm. so that you sort of point your way down. And that pointing is also present in the fingers. You, you elongate them in your mind. Mm. So you, yeah, you get this smoother movement. Mm. You see now, don't you? Yes. So this is a much smoother movement. And of course, I can do it myself. This, I elongate them, or I don't do it, I tense them. This is tough. Mm. It's tough here, it's tough here. This directionality, or spiral. Mm. So think direction, see. There is a big difference. As soon as you think direction, so directions are mighty powerful. Just incredible. You look much more balanced. So you can get the whole way up and do some sort of activity. Okay, so the Namaskar. Song greeting. Song greeting. Yeah, keep the good spirit up. I think that's the most important. McGilchrist writes about the devilish people who have seriousness. And that encourages the left hemisphere with no contact to kinesthesia and proprioception. Think more width between the shoulders. Encourage that movement. Stop there. See. More that that's not that's not that's, yes, very good. More like this. And you can keep your head a little bit more aligned to the to the back. That's better. So the head is in front of the back. Mm. So it's more both the head and the back is pointing, but the head points first. Yeah, now you're finding that direction. You see, it's easier now. Mm. That you can continue even when you go down to the floor. So please continue. Is this a dead parrot? 
<laughs> we shouldn't forget the humor. <laughs> It looks very good, excellent color. Look at that wild and back. I think you can feel that. Mm. It's such a difference. And now, of course, you will also feel it's harder to have that nice balance of the head and neck. But if you can put a little more, yeah, like this, nodding, yeah, very good. So you keep your freedom, your free will, wherever you go in the exercise. Very good. You could put your hip on the floor as well. It is possible if it's not like yeah, if, is it still comfortable? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep the good humor, very good, Kelly. I think we have to relearn to take seriousnesses away because that causes pain. When you go forward, think of pointing still. Very good. <laughs> now you're a bit flushed. I think you should put a little bit pause there, if possible. Yes. Okay, see here. So, return to the directions. Think that the head is leading always and that smile behind your eyes. The back is expanding nicely. Widening between the shoulders as well. Very good color. And you can e maybe ease up a bit here. Yeah, looking good. To continue whenever you feel apt. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Very good. I think Alexander actually swept into you, Kalle. Mm. It's a big difference. 
Imagine that I had anything to do with this. I can't believe it. So remember you go upwards with your whole system. Everything is participating up, 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 up. Do you not think you have to bend anymore though? You can come hit me. Yeah, you use the hip, yeah, this way. There you go. Yeah, I mean, remember it's so forward. Like that. Mm. Yeah, now you have the hip joint. Push forward. Mm. And you can, yeah, lengthen your back, send the directions, and you nicely go up, up. Then you manage yourself. Very good. And you go up, up, widen, widen, widen. Very good, very good. And you think lengthening, lengthening. You can go down. Surya Namaskar. Sankri. Yes. Very good. We should work with the voice at some instance. Maybe we can do that later. The R. Very good, Kalle. Let's see here. We get the hole in there. And you can continue your upward race like this. You go. Ah, yeah. Very good. There we have it. Do you th this is balance is just fantastic. I don't think you can imagine living without this balance anymore. Mm. It's become a necessary part of your living existence. So this is what we do. We learn the system to be freer and mm. then you want it yourself. Mm. So it is not something I'm enforcing on you, mm. but I'm showing a different way of being and you, oh, I prefer that. Mm. So in the end, it's your choice. Mm. Uh, there is no difference in feeling comfort and joy mm. and what's good for the body. Mm. They are not two separate things. Separate things. <laughs> so the humor and the, uh, the spontaneous, like when you stroke me before, mm. it's coming from nowhere. It's coming from your own enjoyment. Mm. And of course, it's boring to have lectures about joy, but uh, they serve a purpose somehow. Mm. Uh, joy is natural to our living existence, and uh, I also connect them to the spirals. Mm. Uh, the boring thing is a circle going back to the same point. Mm. There is no development, mm. uh, just a constant stirring. We can try the monkey again. Let's see here. And I need to take care of myself when I lift it. So I don't hasten. So I also bend there. Mm. And I bring it up like this, you see? Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm. So I bend in the hip joint and that makes me strong. Mm. It's a pretty heavy chair actually. approach the chair and this time I'll take you into the monkey <coughs> lecture about feeling joy that's contradictory but what what can we do <laughs> there shouldn't be any lectures about having joy it should be natural
But once freedom enters into your system, you can't resist it. It's something good. You know it's good. Mm. You know it's good for you. It's not. I think in the beginning you said, is it correct or is it wrong? It's wrong. It is not like that. It's mm. more that. Aha! Uh -huh, this is a easier, more lenient way of doing it. Mm. Uh, I think it's comparable to taking the car instead of walking. The car is easier. Uh, you will find that in the end that walking would be easier than the car. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. This is what I felt. The knees up, the knees lifted. Yes, very good. Just let them direct themselves forward. Very good. You continue this nice balance. Yes, fantastic. I could have done it my better myself. It's very good. Maybe you can find the hip joint. Yes, exactly there. You have it there. This is the new joint you found. Can you imagine? You would be living your whole life without feeling it. A new way to bend. And you can keep that nice. Even if there is a camera watching you. Very good. Direction here, like that, yes, yes, there we have it. And you're beginning, I can see in your system that you know now it's easier when you direct. There's no strain here. Mm. And you can transfer that to many more joints as you learn that direction, that spiral, spiraling out, mm. can be put to use in other instances where you haven't used this still. Mm. And there, there's no rush, but as you learn, you can put it to your knees, to your toes. It strengthens. And you are also nicely putting more space in between the shoulders. Much better. I'm going to take a special angle from that. So there's a widening here now, and I think that's visible even through the video. Widen there. Very good, fantastic. Then, huh? how easy it is. No cramping tendencies, nothing. It's just sheer ease. So, this is what saves a lot of trouble, and you expand. And you can also, and I'm just going to guide you very lightly out of this. Very good, there you go, up, you go up, you go up, and you keep, yes, look over there. You can look over there. And you see, you can also move your head. Yes, and you go up, very good. This is absolutely fantastic. I, I bet you, you're one centimeter taller. Uh, you were before. Look over there. There's a screw there. And down there, a couple of shoes. The outside looking uh, not so sunny, but it's no snow. Maybe we will be having some snow. I don't know. And you can turn to the camera, and I'll give you an applause. Very good, Kelly. Thank you for 